previously. Let's revisit Wonderland and see what Olga has to say for herself. The lab is closed down due to the epidemic. It's not Olga you want, it's your father, and he's in there for sure. Loki, our friend from the future, is here too, trying to get into the lab for some reason. Strankov. That man is a monster. Every time I open my mouth, nothing but the truth comes out. Have you been consuming a strange looking red fruit by any chance? <laughs> Those things were trapped in here for a reason, and we're the ones who let them out. Do you have any idea what you've just done? The plant zombies have escaped their temporary containment at Old Penelope. We need to take her somewhere quiet for questioning. What are those plans you have for Strangerville? You'll find out soon enough. Everybody will. Beryl, I'm back. Beryl. Are you in the bathroom? That's odd. Where is she? Sleep tight little girl. I'm going to need your help tomorrow. But for now, there's another patient who needs me more urgently. I'm sorry Olga, truly. But we have to figure out what happened that night at our house. I've said it before and I'll say it again. You've got the wrong person. So you're saying there's a clone of you running around? Because according to my friend Grande, the person who shot him after breaking into our vault looked a whole fucking lot like you. I don't remember anything of the sort. She has dissociative identity disorder. Maybe someone who can speak should bring that up already. What is the last thing you do remember? I was at City Hall in Windenburg, talking to Serena. We were going to have our picture taken by the mayor. And of course you used that opportunity to tell her to come see you in Strangerville, even though this town is currently in the middle of some kind of plant zombie epidemic? A what? You heard me right, a plant zombie epidemic. And now those poor undead bastards are going to suffer even more, thanks to you introducing them to such a colossal bitch. No offense, bitch. Mum. Can I talk to you alone for a second? She doesn't seem to know what we're talking about, and I'm beginning to think this might have something to do with her various personalities. Hallelujah. So what? You told me her personalities share a memory, but now she claims to not even remember how she got here. That's how it used to be, but things might have changed since then. What do you think is more likely, that, or that there's really a clone of hers running around? To be fair, you never know in this town. I think it's most likely that your feelings for her are clouding your judgment. If you're so desperate to do something about your blue balls, go back to the library, to the lady with the wet panties. She won't say no. That's not what I mean, you know that. And you know how charming I can be when I want something. What if she's the same? What if she's just faking this whole disorder thing, deliberately putting on an innocent persona to stall for time, while her father is doing the devil only knows what to this town using our forbidden fruit, and you're falling for it? I think I might be able to shed some light on this. Not again, dog familiar. You should know me by now. Is that you, Judith? You look different the last time we met. You mean that time I helped you get into Strankov's lab? Yeah, he got wind of that and didn't appreciate it, so he had no qualms about using me as a test subject for experiments involving his special medicine. His medicine caused the color of your fur to change? No, that was the magic I had to work to get it out of my system. What his newest drug does to adult humans is terrible enough, but to children and animals, it's outright deadly. My father would never use people as test subjects without their consent, whether they're human or not. Wrong personality I see. I can always turn her back into her garden gnome personality if that helps. Leave it to me. Olga, what are common symptoms of protogeum fever? Dizziness, a racing heart, compulsion to always tell the truth, and oral hallucinations of a bleeding goat, which can sometimes lead to the patient trying to mimic those sounds. Remind you of anything? The librarian. But she told me I'm the reason for that, plus wet panties. Except for maybe the latter. No, sorry. Those are all side effects of the doctor's drug. 
but there's someone in this room who can tell you more about that, maybe in exchange for her freedom. I don't negotiate with criminals. What gives you the idea that I'm a criminal? Detaining someone against their will is a crime in accordance with paragraph 247.98 of the SVSG, so better let me go now or I will throw you in jail, where you can share a cell with your daughter and your bodyguard. So Willie and Grande are in jail. Did you put them there? No, but whoever did it must have had a good reason. The jail cells are on the upper floor of the police station. I can get your friends out and bring them here. What will your help cost us? I'm not the ageless sage. But I do want to free my hometown of Dr. Strankoff's harmful influence, and right now you're my best chance at getting there, so consider that our deal if you have to. See you later. So you forgot to bring your wand, but you did bring this candle. A light in the dark is always good, don't you think? Especially in the event of a blackout in a windowless jail cell. Probably just the guard's way of telling us that it's bedtime. And to stop us from looking around too much, or else we might notice how little they care about keeping the cells clean. Are you afraid of that spider grande? Absolutely not. What would give you that silly idea? Anyway, I assumed you'd have negative associations with candles at the moment, given that they decorate the graves at the cemetery in your dreams. Not really. It's such a mundane object you can find in almost every household, be it that of a witch or a mortal, and that's what I like about it. I've seen where the magic path will ultimately take me, now I'd like to find out what the mundane path has to offer, and stay away from everything that reminds me of magic. Because, as much as mortals often wish they were immortal, you kind of lose the ability to enjoy the moment when you have all the time in the world. Then make sure you don't lose that ability. Because unlike you, your friends and family won't be around forever. Yeah, I know. That's exactly the problem. Thanks for the useless reminder. I think you needed it. Because what you're doing now, shutting yourself away from everything and everyone that reminds you of magic, that's not helping. To the contrary, you're actively wasting what comparatively little time you still have with the people you love. I know the thought of losing them hurts, but if you let that get in the way of living your life here and now, you're only setting yourself up for regret. Whatever the future may hold, it isn't here yet. Focus on the present. I don't know how to do that anymore. Right now it's a little difficult. Being in jail isn't exactly part of my everyday routine either. But when we're back in Windenburg, maybe you could reconnect with some old friends, like the Bell's son. What's his name again, Jason? Jaden. Well, you're the psychologist, if you think that helps. Hi there. Are you comfortable in that cell, or would you like to get out? Oh my god, a talking cat. Is that the result of magic or science? A bit of both. And you can call me Judith, although God has a nice ring to it too. Are you coming, or would you like to take a minute to say goodbye to your friend the spider? Fuck it's cold. Quiet. Sorry. Beryl. Oh for fuck's sake. Beryl, where are you? Wilbika, is that you? Wait. Have you seen my little sister lately? I didn't even know she's here, or you. Now leave me alone. Where are you going? Old Penelope is in the opposite direction, that's where the others are. The others? My sister too. Same height as Wilbika, long brown hair, have you seen her? Bloody tourists, always turning up at the worst possible time. No, I haven't seen an unfamiliar child's face lately, but if your sister knows what's good for her, she'll seek shelter. And so should we, before they come back out? They? Yes, they. Remember them. You two let them out of their prison. We had no idea. Why were they locked up at the bar anyway, instead of the hospital? And what the hell are they? No time to explain. Run. I 
have to get back to the trailer. Beryl might have come back in the meantime. That trailer isn't going to protect you from them. But... Watch out. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. I'm not your mother, you stupid walking weed. Damn, they're strong. And immune to magic, and they regenerate, so don't waste any time. Go. We can't leave her behind. She'll be fine. They knocked her out, but didn't make her eat the protogeum fruit, thankfully. Would that have killed her? Not necessarily, but it's definitely not healthy in any case. Seems like Strankhoff is recruiting for his army of plant zombies, probably to take over the world, as it has always been his dream. Whatever happens, that madman needs to be stopped. Maybe Olga can tell us more about it once Mum feeds her the cheese sandwiches. The same one she used to get me to talk when we first met? Exactly, and now you provided one of the necessary ingredients. Good thing you didn't eat the raw fruit either when that zombie tried to shove it down your throat. I'll go make sure she doesn't put too much prodigium in those sandwiches, just in case. We just want Olga to tell the truth without her skin turning green in the process. Isn't it strange that Serena didn't seem bothered by Judith at all? No offense, but I still think Judith herself is currently the strangest thing in this room. That's exactly what I mean. Shouldn't a mere mortal be a little more surprised when a cat suddenly starts speaking? I didn't think about it before when we had more pressing issues to deal with, but now. She didn't even bat an eye. She was probably more worried about other things too, like her sister. Do you know Beryl well? Unfortunately I do. If that insufferable brat has been kidnapped, it's only a matter of time until the kidnapper will beg Serena to take her back. Dinner time. No thanks. Why so distrustful? I'm a witch. If I wanted to kill you, I could think of many quicker and easier ways to do so than a poisoned meal. But if you'd rather starve to death, be my guest. Do you really think she'll fall for this trick again? It was a different personality that ate my cheese sandwiches last time, right? For once we can use the fact that they no longer have a collective memory to our advantage. Except now she can only tell you things that this particular personality knows, which is a disadvantage if you ask me, but hey, at least she's eating the sandwiches. When is it dinner time for pet familiars? So, why don't you tell us a little more about your father's very special medicine? Did he distribute it to fight the mysterious epidemic that forced Crater Labs to go into lockdown? No, it's what caused the epidemic in the first place when he came up with a new version that will ultimately turn people into mindless slaves if they ingest too much of it. Then word got out and brought the military to the scene. Oh no, I shouldn't have said that. What military? I thought that was you. Military, police force, it's one and the same around here. Those new soldiers were sent by the government, which had been suspicious of the activities in Strangerville for a long time, and now it's trying to take control over the situation. The unit is led by General Ravenhurst, who has a personal stake in the mission because his son recently disappeared in this town. Ravenhurst? Yeah, I think that was the soldier I encountered at the lab. Do you know him? No, it's just the name. Very intimidating name, that's all. It suits him well. Martin Ravenhurst descends from an aristocratic family, every member of which is, or was, in the military, including his missing son, who used to live in the fancy house near the trailer park. Now the general himself lives there with his wife, examining the strange plant in his garden and thinking his presence makes his neighbors feel safe, but the truth is that everyone is afraid of him. Didn't you hear what Olga said? We should avoid Ravenhurst at any cost. He's not to be trifled with. Neither am I, and he just happens to be the person I need to talk to in order to get into that lab. Why are you making this so difficult? You have magic. Just turn any annoying soldiers into garden gnomes, blow up any locked doors along the way, and you'll be in the lab in no time. Our magic may work against the soldiers, but not the plant zombies we might encounter, and who knows how many more of them we'll set free if we keep blowing up doors. 
Haven't you learned anything from yesterday? I don't like it either, but we have to be sneaky about this one. And you used to be a spy grande, so a sneaky approach should be just your speciality. We all remember how well that worked last time. There. Olga mentioned a fancy house near the trailer park with a strange plant in the garden. This has to be it. It is. Go see if anybody's home. Oh, and make sure to hide that gun. Do we really have to go? Hello. Can I help you? We're looking for a General Martin Ravenhurst. That's my husband, but he's not home. Is your friend okay? Um, Grande. Grande? As in, Corwin Grande? No. What a surprise to find you here of all places. Then again, not really. You two know each other? You could say that. But I'm pretty sure that I'm the last person he would ever want to see again, so whatever leads him here must be very important. Why don't you come in? I've been looking everywhere for Beryl, but I can't find her. I pray she's okay. You know what they say, bad weeds grow tall. How does this barrier work? Are the crystals keeping it up? Stay away from there. Well, sooner or later you're going to have to let her out anyway. I don't know the corresponding paragraph of the SVSG, but I do know that what you're doing here is illegal. You don't know what she's done. And you don't seem so sure if what she's done was an actual crime or just an offense to your ego, otherwise you would go to the police instead of playing judge yourself. You want to tell me something about my ego? I'm not the person in this room who constantly feels the need to put others down to feel better about themselves. That's because you're a man. You always feel good about yourself, no matter how wrong you are. Say, do you get off on the thought of having a woman imprisoned and at your mercy, or two? Listen, Princess Petty Pussy of Nagging Nation, I don't enjoy being stuck here with you any more than you do, but just take a second to think about where else you would be now if my sister and Grande hadn't protected you from those plant zombies yesterday. I don't expect gratitude, because I'm certain that paranoid brain of yours is already coming up with dozens of far-fetched theories as to how this could have been a trap all along, simply because there are people involved who have committed the deadly sin of being born with a dick, but I'm not keeping you here, so if you don't have anything useful to say, just do me the one favor I'll ever ask of you and shut the fuck up already. Please, stop fighting, at least verbally. Beat each other up if you have to, that I can handle, but I hate awkward social situations. I hope my father will be successful in awakening mother soon, because she will finally bring us peace. What's that supposed to mean? Is your father planning to revive your dead mother? Then again, why am I even surprised anymore? No, my mother died so long ago, I don't even remember her. Then who are you referring to? Mother Moon. Who or what is Mother Moon? Mother will bring us peace. Just put all your faith in her, and everything will be fine. So you are Grande's former boss. I'm impressed. I didn't expect you to look so... normal. That's the idea. Maintaining a low profile is part of our job, isn't it, Miss Chief? What? Sorry, I think you've got me confused with somebody else. I'm not. Please. You may be able to fool the police in your town, but not the SCIA. We've known about your shady activities for years, but don't worry, you're not on our wanted list. That is reserved for real criminals. Ouch. Lo and behold, that has to be the key card for Crater Labs. So, is there a specific reason you'd rather work for a criminal organization than the government, Grande? 
Like that's not one and the same. Not quite. We pay better. I can't complain. I live in a giant mansion, my stuff is my own, and there's a lot of action. But not enough to keep you happy I assume, or else you wouldn't have come back to the strangest town in the world. Um, mum, I think we should go. Oh, right. Thanks for your hospitality Mrs. Ravenhurst, but we still have other places to be, and since your husband isn't home anyway. You can go. As soon as you put back whatever you stole from my room. Excuse me? We don't even know where your room is, and we've been sitting here with you the entire time, so how could we possibly have stolen anything? Ask your friend the cat. What cat? The random stray out there. I'm the director of the SCIA, so don't take me for a fool. Do you think I would have gotten where I am today if I didn't know all the tricks, or that I've been living in this town for weeks without ever noticing that the cat out there isn't quite like the others? Tell it to come inside. Ridiculous. You have 10 more seconds to do as I say before I get angry. Use them wisely. Go. Let's split up. Hey. What the? Loki. Now go in there and show your friends the price for trying to cross me. Strankov. Oh, another healthy child. Perfect. A second guinea pig is always good to have in case the first one doesn't make it. Could you stop pacing? You're driving me nuts. How are you killing time then? By writing a report to the police about how terrible I've been treating you. Not a report to the police. A poem. But yeah, you're not too far off regarding the content. You write poems. Poems, short stories, even songs occasionally. But my sister is the only one who ever gets to read them, and now she's gone. If you let me out I can help you look for her. I want to trust you Olga, I really do, but I can't. I'm not even sure which one of your personalities is active right now. Does it matter? It's not like Beryl is just going to come through that door while you're waiting around here doing nothing. Who's that? Oh no. Stay where you are. Shit. Bitch, don't. Let me out. I can bring him down without hurting him. But 